Welcome to this video. I'm sorry for the volume and the sound. My microphone doesn't seem to pick up my voice super well as opposed to the surrounding sound, so it's probably a little bit scratchy and I apologize for that. Uh, but we're going to just get started so that we can get these videos going. Um, as always, if you truly want to learn something, I would not rely on my videos. I would say go to a LinkedIn Learning or somewhere where there's a professional who's actually teaching it. But these will suffice just for a quick insight for the requirements of the class. So what I'm going to talk about in this first video is just keyboard shortcuts. They are a way of making you be able to work faster and more effectively or if need be, if you're crossing over from like AutoCAD into Revit, some of the key commands are different, but if you would like to change those and make it so that they match up, so you don't have to remember which ones do what and how they're different in each device, you can, or in each program, you can set it up so that they all match and make it so you don't have to do this reset and reacquaint yourself to the commands. So right now we're just in a simple architectural template project and we're going to start off by using some commands. So WA creates walls and we can just build a quick little house here, throw in that. Um, DR is going to make your doors, which we can throw into here, one down here. WN is going to give you windows, so we can prop in a bunch of windows. And then you have also other ones that are coming to use our AL to align if we want to get things to be matched up. SL allows you to split in case we need to create this section of something a little bit differently or change it. A common one used is SA. This allows you to select all instances in a project. So if we grab this wall and do SA, it'll grab all of the walls. It's going to look at this and we can take that and say, okay, well, we don't want them to be unconnected. We want them just to go to level two. The key command I'm going to show in particular is uh, select all instances in view, which currently isn't set. Sometimes if you're working in a project that is two floored or more. So we copy this. We're going to go to the second floor and we will align to current view. So we now have the second floor. And if you can imagine you're working on a large building that has 10 plus floors, sometimes you need to fix something on one floor but not affect the rest of the building. And this can be a problem if you go to say the second level and you're like, oh, I wanna change all these windows on this floor, but if I do SA, it's going to grab all of the windows in the project. And I don't want that, I just need the ones on that floor in particular. Well, that leaves you with typically two options. Either you can go to the first floor and hold down shift and deselect the windows you don't want. Or you can go to level two and click one and then hold down control and select all of your windows individually. But there's a good chance you can miss. Another thing you could try is just grab it and do a filter. But what I find to be a lot quicker is if you hit KS, it opens up your keyboard shortcut commands and there'll be a pop-up window that you probably can't see right now. Um, but I'll post a picture of it. And in here, it asks you to type in a command name. So we'll put in select all. And it brings up every command that involves select all instances. And if you look down, you'll see SA is tied to the select all instances in entire project. Well, we're gonna grab the select all instances visible in view and we'll assign it the shortcut of SV. This makes it um, connected to that one. You could set it to whatever you want. You can put up to five keys, I believe is what it maxes out at. Um, but once that is set, we can then come back into this project and take in that same situation where we just wanna change our windows on the second floor. Well, we go to level two, select one of the windows, do an SV, and when we come here, we see that it only grabbed what was in the view. So then we can take it and let's make them our window double hung with a 2642. And it will go through and change that for us. Um, other things I like to do is, for instance, with materials, I'll change that to be MT. It's not a preset one, but that way, if you're working on the end of a project, you can quickly jump into your materials if you need to. Um, fix the bump or add a different 
texture real quick and you just need to go back and forth real quick and you don't want to have to keep coming up to here and clicking and finding it. Um, or like I said, you could, if you're working in AutoCAD a lot or both of them back and forth and you're getting tired of having to remember which key command goes to the other one, I know I have that problem. You can go ahead and change all of your key commands to match the shortcuts found within AutoCAD. That way it feels more like you're working in the same project rather than having to deal with two different applications. Hopefully that helps and we'll see y'all later.